Hello everyone, Justin to Gaming here, and welcome to today's Top Club Battle. This game is pretty old, but we have number 9, Grinders United, versus number 20, let me say this carefully, Book Hockey. Once in a while I might show a game where you guys get some highlights of some Top Club gameplay, plus it'll help you guys be aware of what clubs and players to look out for should you get matched up against them. It could also lead to some cool rivalries if we have rematches between certain teams. In this game I'm playing for the underdog team in Book Hockey, I've played with Grinders U before and they're a really good puck possession team. They do a nice job cycling the puck around the offensive zone until they find the right opportunity to get a quality shot. And the longer they have the puck, the less time they need to spend playing defense. If they play anywhere like I expected them to, I knew the puck was going to be in my end for most of the game. And that's exactly what happened in the first period. We were on the penalty kill once, but my team did a good job covering the passing lanes and we were able to kill it off. Grinders U had one quality shot that period and it's right here as he gets away from Teal. Green's a fraction of a second late on his attempt to help. I stayed short side, and that was good enough to make the save. Our team had one shot on goal, and this was it. Two, one, shoot. Oh, Obviously not the greatest goal, but it definitely got us pumped to start the second period. But just watch how the second period started. And just like that, we dug ourselves into a hole. We actually committed another penalty for a 5 on 3. After getting back one guy from the box, this guy tries to catch me leaving the post with a backhand shot. I think he was trying to make it look like as if he was heading around my net. Whatever it was, I wasn't buying it. Yellow picks up the puck and is able to clear. Shortly after we received our first power play, so somebody paused it to talk some strategy. Yeah, they were trapping it up super hard, yeah. so just pass it backwards instead of trying yeah. to carry it through three guys every time. I will carry it through the guys. Well, one, the time I did it over the top was one round. Yeah, that's the time where you should... So there you have it. And from that point on, things seem to go our way for the second period. After winning the draw, the offense is trying some give and goes, but the space inside just isn't there. So they try a short side shot, and somehow the goalie got caught going the wrong way. None of us were exactly thrilled with that goal, but somehow we have a 2-1 to one lead when we've been completely outplayed by their skaters. A few minutes later, a nice outlet pass by Yellow gets us into their zone. After a missed cross attempt, Red strips the puck away, feeds a centering pass to Green but is stopped by the goalie. Luckily for us, a missed cover-up, and being knocked out of position by his own defenseman, Red is able to collect the garbage goal for a 3-1 lead. At this point, it seems that we awoke a sleeping giant, because from then onwards, the puck was in our half of the ice a lot. Grinders, you just stepped on the gas and didn't stop. A few shots from inside the hash marks I'm able to put aside, but they didn't slow down at all. My defense did a great job blocking the passing lanes, and I had a very late reaction time on this backdoor pass. Teal was able to disrupt his man, and saved what most likely would have been a goal. Now in the third period, Grinders U gets a great scoring chance right off the draw. I was able to read the cutting center and stop one of the tougher set plays you can see off of a draw. And it wasn't much longer until they got their next face-off opportunity. I was the red guy. I'm like, why isn't my guy going? FIFA team sellies are dominant. Dude, in this year's FIFA, you can't sell as long. It's upsetting. Have you oh, seen your own the key is realizing you're in position and not moving unless you absolutely have to. A minute later, we almost got another grindy goal on the other end, but their goalie was able to make the stop on one of our very few possessions in the final period. At this point, we still have the bends but don't break mentality on defense like the New York Rangers when they had John Tortorella as their coach. But a very nice left trigger move to the front of the net gets Grinders U to within one goal. They are still putting the pressure on as it seems we're just trying to hold on. I'll let this one play out so you can see how it ends.
we were able to hold them off and book hockey escapes with a 3-2 win. It's tough to say we deserved that one considering they had double the time on attack as well as shots. It was a fun game going up against a really good group of skaters, and my team did a great job stopping the cross and backdoor opportunities. This is an example of a goalie making the saves they're supposed to make, just being enough for the win. My team did such a great job protecting the scoring areas that I only had one or two quality chances, both of them coming off of a face-off. My focus for this video was a good offense versus a good defense, and that aspect alone is why I put this game up for you guys. This game is pretty old and it was cool seeing how I played then versus the adjustments I've made to my game since. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, remember to click that like button, and subscribe for more EASHL tips and gameplay. I'll leave my Twitter and Twitch links below, and thanks for watching.